Hi, good evening. This is Singta here. I'll be doing a quick, re quick uh, run through of the new features in uh, Windows 11. I've installed it, I think, this past week on launch day, uh, which is, I think, October the 6th or October the 5th. So, what you see here is a clean look of the Windows applications that you'll see here, like TikTok, Prime Video, Xbox. Uh, then there's also the new Microsoft Store as well. And the new feature that we have in uh, Windows 11 is actually uh, Microsoft Teams. By the way, you can actually send uh, messages through Microsoft Teams to maybe your friend's mobile number. And then I'll not show you up here because it's all private. I got private information in there. You can actually send an S uh, SMS or maybe start a video chat with your friend or family member or colleague. That's one of the new features in Windows 11. And then as for the uh, new Xbox, this is the new Xbox app that's integrated into Windows 11. You can actually stream uh, Windows 11 games from uh, Xbox games from this app. So you'll be able to see things like uh, Game Pass, social, you know, like your social account, you know, like your Xbox, uh, link to your Xbox account. Then the store as well is actually everything's here. You can see here you can actually purchase your 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 xbox or pc games and stream them in the cloud so that will be one of the new features in windows 11. okay so um there's also the new snap feature let me show you what, what i mean by the snap feature snap feature is when you select the tile that you want to actually snap maybe snap it to the left snap it to the right for your microsoft edge you see what happens when i click this so snap it to the left so if i if i open it again you can snap it to the right actually you can select your snap either in these these modes here this is the newest feature in windows 11. okay um so now let's go to um Let's go to settings and take a look at what we have for uh, Windows 11. Let's, let's go through the start menu and then uh, we'll take a look at um, the new features. So if I type in control panel here, uh, here it is. So same as Windows 10, uh, most of the features are the same as Windows 10. So uh, let's go through to settings and uh, take a look at our system settings. Uh, uh, system settings is under no, 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 not under here. It's under here. Yes. Okay. Features are pretty much the same, uh, except that this time round there will be HDR. HDR, you need to have a HDR compatible monitor in, in order to have high dynamic range. And then, uh, advanced display shows you your internal display is at 444 hertz for my laptop here. <coughs> graphics, uh, graphics, this is the new feature in Windows 11. It actually shows you, you know, like which game, games or apps uh, that has that Windows might recommend for either high performance or I don't know what type of performance are, but it says uh, high, high performance for all these apps that I'm currently having mostly are games by the way so uh, yeah these are pretty much the same and then there are new wallpapers too you know actually you can customize your wallpapers here yeah, new wallpapers like this flower here that I'm using right now for this uh, this this desktop theme for my colored wallpaper for my uh, desk desktop. And then apps uh, she has nothing new here. Accounts, time and language. Okay, there's a new uh, like I said, there's a new Xbox game game bar here you can actually control 
and then there's a new feature called game mode now game mode actually shows you you can optimize your PC to play for for play by turning off things in the background that's the newest feature and then the related settings will be linked to graphics that's the new feature in game mode uh, that's the new feature for game mode so accessibility are pretty much the same uh, privacy and security um, yeah that that might be it no? it has activity history search permissions you know call history okay what about windows update we also have a bunch of uh, new settings called and there's also a new setting called the windows insider program it says got get preview builds of windows to share feedback our new features and updates so you can actually join the insider program to download latest patches of the windows 11 updates then you can get started here yeah this this is pretty much it for windows 11 there's not much there much there are not there's not much things here so yeah i think guess that i guess, I guess that's that's about it for today so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Thank you very much.